Hi guys and welcome back. So today I have a very strong, quick impromptu trick for you. So what's so very nice about this trick is the fact that the spectator can shuffle the cards how much they want and then they only name a card. They don't even take it out, they just name a card. So let's say they name the four of clubs. And now I take the deck and I go, okay, so you shuffle the cards yourself, right? And you know, all the cards are different. Uh, it's not only like one card or something like that. Uh, and I'm gonna take out the jokers, okay? So we're gonna take out these jokers, right? Uh, there's two of them, these two right here. Now, what was your card again? Right, the four of clubs, okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna dribble these cards and I'm gonna throw the jokers in there. So you can see the two jokers. Now, if I just spread the cards out, just like that, you can see that there is one card and one card only in between them. And it happens to be the four of clubs. Okay guys, hope you like that. Let's learn this trick. Okay guys, I hope you really liked that trick. And if you did, please remember to like the video. It really helps me out. And also subscribe and join the bell icon club, the very cool exclusive bell icon club. So hit that notification bell. Also, when we reach 3000 subscribers, we're gonna have a giveaway. So make sure to subscribe for that. Now let's get into the tutorial. So this trick was something I came up with. It's not, you know, rocket science. It's very simple in terms of routine, but I quite like it. And I use this trick for a specific kind of group, the difficult spectators. You know, the kind of spectator we all come across now and then, the kind of spectator that when we tell them to pick a card, they insist on taking the top card or the bottom card, or, you know, when we want them to say stop and replace it, they go, yeah, but I want to replace it like in there instead or something like that. So for that kind of group, I usually do this trick. What's so good about this is the fact that it's so fair and also they never hold a card. So they can't like take it and put it in the pocket and go, yeah, find it now then, you know. So that's why this is a very nice trick. And once you've done it and blown them away, you just walk away because you don't want to do magic for those people. So for this trick, we just need an ordinary deck of cards with two jokers in it, okay? They can truly shuffle the cards how much they want before this. And as, as they do, casually say that, okay, you can name any card, any card at all in the entire deck, okay? So it doesn't matter what they say. So let's say they say the five of the uh, diamonds, for example, okay? And now here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the deck back and you're gonna take out the jokers. And you're also gonna say, I usually go like, okay, you shuffle the cards yourself and I start spreading and I take, I out jog the first joker. All the cards are different and all like all of, all of that. And when you reach, now I reached uh, the second joker before I reach the five of, I thought it was, I think it was diamonds, right? So I just keep scrolling, uh, <laughs> spreading, uh, kind of pretending that I didn't see that. And when I reach the five of diamonds, I call that underneath. Now I'm gonna do a full tutorial on the spread call one day. But for now, what you're doing basically is you're taking your left thumb and you're placing that on the card above it, the card to the right of it. And underneath, you're gonna use these two fingers, the right uh, middle finger and ring finger to just pull that five underneath the spread. So you can see that that card is pulled away and you keep spreading, okay? So that is now on top, okay? And since we pretended that we missed the first joker, we spread again and we say something in line, so oh, where, where's that the joker? And there it is, okay? If you get to the five before any of the jokers or in between the jokers, you only need to spread through the cards once. But it doesn't make much sense to first out jog the two jokers and then, you know, keep spreading and do a spread call uh, after that for obvious reasons. So this is why I do it in this way, in these circumstances. So as I said, we're gonna have a full tutorial on the call, but for now you can find other tutorials or simply do as I told you in this video. Just, you know, rewind and watch it again and you'll get it. So now you're gonna swirl out 
the two jokers. You're gonna flip the deck over just like that. And you're gonna get a break underneath the top card. Just have to pull that over and you know pull back and place these on top and go something in the lines of okay, so we have these two jokers, okay. So just by doing that, we have loaded that five in between the two jokers. Okay, so again, you simply place these two jokers on top. You pick up all three cards, okay? Just peel off the top joker and place it underneath and square it up like this, okay? And now you take this into your left hand end grip and you're simply going to dribble these cards and throw the jokers in somewhere just like that. And now you can spread the, the cards. I think that's quite nice and go like, okay, so we have the jokers here in the middle and they catch one card, they catch one card and it happens to be the five of diamonds, okay? Just like that. So that's one, one nice way of doing it. Another way you can do it is this. So there's another way you could do it. You could actually just uh, riffle these cards and then kind of stab the jokers in there. And again, if you want to, you can spread the cards like this and show that, okay, the jokers caught one card in between them. And again, of course, it's their card. So that's another way of doing it. So I hope you like this trick. It's a quick one. It's completely impromptu, as I said, which is really nice and uh, it gets great reactions. So if you like this, please like the video and subscribe and press that bell notification. Join the notification club. And remember at 3k subscribers, we're going to have a giveaway. So remember to subscribe for that. Now, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye-bye.